Hello and welcome. My name is Harrison Wood and today myself, along with my group of experts, will be presenting information that we have compiled together for you to help you become successful in taking our company, Amazon, to its new destination in Vietnam. I'd like to take a moment to personally congratulate you for becoming a part of our team and I know that if you use the information that we have put together for you, you will be successful. I'll introduce you to the team. First, we have Abby. Next, we have Chris Wolf. David. Catherine. And last but not least, Chris Brigham. I am going to be covering some of the topics that are in the written report, but I promise to keep it short and sweet. We're going to start with our company overview. Now, for those of you that do not know, Amazon was founded in 1995 by Jeff Bezos, and Jeff originally intended for Amazon to be a place for book lovers to go to find books, order them online, and have them shipped to the house. So now Amazon has moved away from books, not totally away from books, but has included every product or service that anyone could ever imagine. Next I'm going to talk about the country that we are going to. Vietnam is a Southeast Asian country found off the South China Sea and it is known for its bustling cities, its beaches, rivers, and Buddhist pagodas. Now you are going to be in a new country, in a foreign country, and cultures are different and I'm going to teach you a little bit about that. But first, our mission, and it was always said best by our leader, Jeff. This quote is also in the written report. But as far as Vietnamese culture, we're going to start with time and personal space. Now, there is no sense of a schedule, or barely sense of a schedule in Vietnam. Everything is very lax, and so don't get frustrated if somebody doesn't complete a task in a timely fashion that you feel is appropriate. Don't take offense to it. And also, there is no such thing as a personal bubble in Vietnam. Everybody will be invading your personal space where you're walking to work, in the grocery store, whatever you may be doing. So it's just something that you're going to have to get accustomed to. Now, everybody knows how important nonverbal communication is. It can either make or break a deal, and the same thing, it's very important in Vietnam. Now, when speaking with someone, you will tend to keep your distance. That makes them feel very comfortable with speaking with you. And also, Vietnamese people will enjoy that you smile throughout the whole conversation because it makes them feel calm and comfortable and warm. And also, do not get frustrated if when speaking to someone, they don't remain eye con constant eye contact with you. It's just a part of their culture and the way that they communicate. Now, if you take all these things and the concepts and topics that will be covered by my experts, I know that we can be successful. And that's all the time that I have. I'd like to thank you for coming and thank you for participating in this. And I would like to introduce our next talk or our next speaker rather is Catherine. Thank you.